so as you can probably tell by the uploads recently or lack thereof I haven't really been too interested in a lot of the fights that have happened recently they just haven't captured my imagination but part of me somewhere is ever so slightly interested in this fight between Johnny Fisher and Alan Babich not because I'm anticipating any amazing display of skill or anything like that I just think it's going to be car crash television I think it's just it's almost guaranteed to be a tear up and a slugfest and I think it probably ends in brutal fashion so that's really enough for me I can't say I'm looking forward to it but there's just that bit of intrigue and so this fight as well just makes me laugh I find it entertaining because I, I think it's the two characters and not to say that I find Johnny Fisher particularly interesting or or funny, because I don't. I, I think the whole Johnny Fisher roadshow with his dad on his own, it's just, it's largely insufferable in my opinion. I don't find a morbidly obese middle-aged man who's addicted to Chinese takeaway, who constantly says bosh, I don't find that funny. And that's just typical DAZN trying to shovel unfunny shit into their fight nights. Like, oh, look at these personalities we have. They're not personalities. They're just random people who you've, scooped out of Essex and shoveled into the uh, into the telecast to appeal to the everyman which is fair enough if you like it you know that but in just my opinion I don't find it funny um, as I say I find Johnny Fisher and his dad um, yeah insufferable I don't have much patience for them at all but there is an element of entertainment when Johnny Fisher's in the ring because he's big he's strong he's powerful he doesn't think too much and he's kind of just willing to get stuck in and I use that term sometimes because that's really all it is just a willingness to engage and and take a fight to your opponent and some people they kind of poo poo it and they downplay and say oh um how can you say like someone's willingness to get stuck in is um some kind of quality well it's because it is because when you have a fighter who has a lot of ability, that ability doesn't count for much unless they engage their opponent. But on the flip side, you can have a fighter who's not very good, doesn't have much skill or technique. But if they have a willingness to to take a fight to their opponent, sometimes they can secure victory that way. So it's just as an important aspect as any other part of a, a fighter's makeup and approach to the ring. And both of these guys, Johnny Fisher and Alan Babich, they... It's almost like they've maximised their uh, willingness to take a fight to the next man. And I think that alone is probably going to uh, result in some entertainment. Johnny Fisher, there is something there. I'm not going to say he's completely useless. There is something there. There are some good raw materials that can be refined. However, right now, they're just that. They're very raw materials. I want to say he's a good athlete. I, th I believe his uh, background is rugby and if memory serves me correctly and it is rugby you can kind of see that he f he falls into that rugby player mould where he's big, he's strong, he's powerful, explosive and well conditioned. Rugby players tend to be quite good well round athletes and yeah I definitely see that in him because he's a big unit but he's he's got a decent bit of speed and he can... Uh, be quite explosive in the ring particularly when he throws combinations there isn't much skill or refinement to them but he can do some damage and and he's willing to he's not he's not shy about it I guess he's similar to Daniel Dubois in that regard where he is willing to let his hands go and maybe he understands that right now in the stage of his career where his skill is quite limited he has to almost compensate a bit more by doing that so um yeah, credit where it's due. I, I, I'm not one of these people who thinks that he's completely useless. I definitely think Johnny Fisher has something there. And I, I think, based on what I've seen of him so far, he could probably win a British title. I think that would probably be his limit. But I think on his day, he could secure that. It's just difficult to tell because he's for absolutely nobody. I think the best opponent I've seen Johnny Fisher in with was um, Harry Armstrong, I think his name was. I think that might have been his last fight. That was on the AJ Hellenius undercard. And not to say that 
um, Harry Armstrong is any great shakes because clearly he isn't. That was a southern area title fight. But um, Harry Armstrong, I felt, showed a good degree of guile. You know, there was a certain bit of skill there and he showed some decent boxing. And Johnny Fisher came through and, and took him out with a, a good stoppage. And so this is Johnny Fisher's big step up. Whereas Alan Babich, he's been in there with some known quantities before. You know, he's fought Eric Molina, uh, Mark Bennett, Tom Little, uh, Shondell Winters. These guys aren't great. I'm not. I'm try not trying to make out that they are, but at least we know what kind of level they are. And you know, Shondell Winters, for example, he's been in there against Joseph Parker, and so he obviously didn't do well against Joseph Parker, but he went five rounds, whereas Babich took him out relatively early in two and so I feel like by proxy we get a bit more of a gauge of Alan Babich um, that being said though even though Alan Babich is more experienced I can't see him winning this fight and I know some guys are picking Babich because they feel that experience is going to tell and they really don't rate Johnny Fisher but the way I see this matchup you've got two guys who have a very similar approach to the ring whereby they're very raw and they basically put all of their, uh, they invest all of their energy into offense. Alan Babich, the extent of his defense is maybe just lowering his head when he throws a shot. And it, like he takes these wild swings and he is kind of cognizant and he keeps his head down, but it's hardly a cultured defense, let's be real. Um, both guys, especially Babich, they really just swing all kinds of hellish lever and hope it lands and very entertaining but it's um you know it's real kind of it makes you wince sometimes you're just thinking okay if this guy misses and gets countered that's it but in this kind of matchup because Babbage I don't think has the skills to rely on he doesn't really have much of a technical ability doesn't really have much IQ I think it's going to be a matter of time until he just gets overpowered and absolutely smashed to pieces by Johnny Fisher, who is bigger, younger, fresher, more energetic, more explosive. Uh, and I suspect at this point more resilient too. Alan Babich, against Lucas Rosansky, he looked like he was shot. He, I, he For a while now, he's looked like he's just been very vulnerable. And that's based on the assumption that he actually had good punch resistance at any point we don't really know um but i think i think alan babich is cooked i think we can stick a fork in him i don't think he's got very long left i suspect that he's just got an enormous amount of miles on the clock because just the way babich carries on you can tell i feel like we all know what kind of person he is um like when he goes into sparring it's just this is 100% when he goes into a fight. It's 100% and it's very entertaining. I'm not going to deny that, but it's um, it's not going to do great things for your longevity. And I think, you know, that willingness to just take one to land one. Um, and he's he's been boxing for a long time. Because Alan Babich, I think he had quite an extensive amateur career. Of not particularly high level, but a lot of fights. And I can't imagine he was fighting uh, in a particularly conservative manner when he was an amateur. And so he's, uh, I think he's absorbed a lot of punishment over his amateur and his professional career. And so now, <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think Alan Babich is jaded. And I think as soon as Johnny Fisher lands anything of note on his chin, that will be it. And maybe Alan Babich can land one of his wild swings and and steady Johnny Fisher, but I don't think it's going to be enough to really keep Fisher under wraps and keep him honest and keep him off. And so I think Alan Babich will be taken out relatively swiftly in a fight that is probably just going to be like a barroom brawl. So it'll be very entertaining, but I don't think it lasts long. So I'm thinking, I think it's going to go early, to be honest. I think Alan Babich probably gets taken out within three rounds. And... um probably be fairly devastating as well so uh yeah that's my take on this one um i don't think there's going to be much skill on display i think it's going to be two guys looking to overpower one another 
but as I say, the bigger, younger, fresher, more explosive man will win, and I believe that's Johnny Fisher. And um, yes, I see Alan Babich getting steamrolled in the early rounds. But hey, that's just my prediction. Uh, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, for now, thanks for listening. And I'll catch you in the next video.